Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Java JDK 10 on your Windows 10 operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, go to your favorite browser and search for Java JDK 10. And the first link which will appear here will be from oracle.com and the heading here will say Java SE Development Kit 10. So just click on that link. I'm going to give you the link in the description for uh, this website so you can directly click on that link and you can uh, directly uh, go to this website. In here just uh, click I agree and in here you will see Java SE development Git 10 downloads. If you want to see more you can go to overview and you will be able to get some more information about uh, Java in general and about this version. So once again, I'm going to click on download and in the download section, I will click on this uh, Java download button, which says Java platform JDK 10. And this will also redirect to uh, the same page, which will be linked in the description. So in here, what we need to do is we need to choose the version we want to install, which is for Windows. So I'm going to ch just check this radio button first of all, accept license terms and conditions, and then choose the last option, which says Windows 64 bin.exe file. And once you click on this uh, exe file, it's around 390 megabyte file. So it will take some time to download. So I'm going to just wait for the download to complete. So the download of this JDK 10.0.1 Windows x64 bin.exe file is complete. So I'm going to double click on this executable file and I'm going to minimize my browser. Now the first step is you will see this kind of warning. You just need to say yes here. And now you can see the setup wizard for uh, this Java SE uh, development kit 10 has been uh, started. So in here, it's really straightforward. So you just need to click next here. And on the next window, you will see the installation path where Java JDK will be installed. So it will be installed in your C directory and then in your C directory program files. And then there will be a Java directory created. And then inside the Java directory, there will be a JDK 10.0.1 will be created. So if you don't have the good reason to change it, you just need to leave it as default and I'm going to click next here. And this is going to start the installation process. Now in the middle of the installation, you will see uh, this kind of uh, custom setup window. So here uh, you will see the path of the JRE directory. So JRE stands for Java Runtime Environment and this will be the location of the JRE uh, directory. So if you don't have the good reason to change it, just leave it as default. And this checkbox, which says enable Java content in the browser, I think this is not going to harm us. So I'm going to just leave it as default and I'm going to just click on the next button. And this will start the installation of uh, Java. You can see installing Java. And now I can see uh, this message which says Java SE development kit 10 is successfully installed. So I'm going to just close this window and now I'm going to verify the location of Java JDK first of all. So I'm going to open my folder explorer and then I'm going to go to the C and in here I'm going to go to the program files directory and in here you will see the Java directory which is created by this installer and here you will see uh, two directories. One is JDK 10.0.1 which is the version of Java JDK and the other is JRE directory, which is Java Runtime Environment. Now in the next step, what we are going to do is we are going to set the environment variable for the Java JDK and JRE so that the Java commands will be recognized by your command line or terminal. So let's do that. So what you need to do is you just need to go inside your JDK directory and then go inside the bin directory. And then you need to copy this path up to bin directory inside the JDK directory. And then right click on your window icon here. So right click on the window icon and then choose the control panel option from here. 
Now once the control panel is open, you just need to click on system and security option. And in the systems and security, you just need to choose the system option here. So just click on system. And once this system is open, you just need to click on the advanced system settings on the left hand side. So I'm going to click on advanced system settings. And once this system settings uh, window is open, you just need to click on environment variable. And in the environment variable window, you will see under system variables, a variable called path. So you just need to double click on this. And in here, you just need to click new and then paste the path you have copied. So we have copied C uh, program files and then Java and then JDK 10.0.1 up to bin directory, right? So we have seen, we have copied this path from here and we just need to copy it uh, here, okay? Same we will do for the JRE directory. So I'm going to go to the Java directory once again. And this time I'm going to go to the JRE directory and then the bin directory and then copy the path up to bin. And then once again, add a new variable and then paste it here. So we have pasted the JDK bin directory and we have pasted the path of the JRE bin directory. And now I'm going to click OK. So this is going to set the Java environment variables for your Windows 10 operating system. Now let's also set the Java home environment variable. So for setting the Java home environment variable, under the system variable, you just need to click new. And in here, you just need to write Java underscore home. And then in the variable value, you just need to choose the JDK folder. So just choose the JDK folder and then copy the path up to JDK, not up to bin, but up to JDK folder. And then paste this path here and then click OK, which is going to add this uh, environment variable in your Windows operating system. And now we are going to just click OK, OK, and then we are going to close this window. Now, in order to verify if Java is uh, installed perfectly on your system and environment variables are also working fine, we just need to open the terminal. So we are going to just right click on the Windows icon. And now I'm going to open the command prompt. And this is going to open the command prompt. And once the command prompt opens, you just need to write this command, Java hyphen version and then press enter which is going to give you the version of java which is installed on your system and in the result you will see the java version which is 10.0.1 this is the version we have installed and also the java se runtime environment version also you can see build 10.0.1 so this version is also 10.0.1 so if you'd see this message then uh, java is working fine on your system this java command is recognized and in order to verify once again you can give this command java c command so java c and then press enter and if you see this kind of long output then it means uh, java c command is also working fine on your windows operating system this java c command is the command to compile your java program so you can see the usage uh, tip is also given here. So Java C, then you uh, give your options to compile and the source file, which is the Java source file. So if you see this kind of output, then Java is installed on your system and it's working perfectly fine. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please write, comment, subscribe and bye for now.